All right. It's uh, chapter 8, lesson 1. Okay, multiply by 6. It's similar to chapter 7, where it's just now multiplying by 6 instead of 3. Look at the example. It says a marching band in seven rows. All right, seven rows with six members in each row. How many band members are there all together? So, right here he has one row, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rows. And how many in each one? How many in each row? Well, how many in each row? Six. Three here plus three on this side. Six. All right. It says seven times six is actually seven times three plus seven times three. Okay. If you didn't know what multiply what seven times six was, you do know what seven times three is. You just have to double it, right? So seven times three is twenty-one. Seven times three is twenty-one. And then 21 plus 21 would be 42. 42. It's called the decomposing. All right. So there are 7 times 6 is 42. So there are how many members then? 42 band members. Look at example number two. Four frogs sitting on a log eating plus six flies each. How many flies are eaten all together? So one way to do it is to decompose four. What two numbers make four? They're the same? Two plus two. So he had four uh, number of groups. There were four groups. One, two, three, four. Okay. One group, two, three, four. So what he did was he divided those groups, okay, those four groups into two groups each. So now I have this group here and this group here. All right, how many flies are eaten all together? Write a multiplication sentence with a symbol for the unknown. So four times six equals, and then I need to find the total. One way to do it is to decompose four into two groups each. That's what he did here. Because what's six times two? 12. So 6, 2 rows with 6 each is 6 times 6 times 2. Here's also 6 times 2. So 6 times 2 plus 6 times 2, or 2 times 6, is 12. And 12 plus 12 is 12 plus 12. 24. Okay. Another way to do it, instead of decomposing 4, I'm going to decompose 6. What two numbers are the same gives me 6? Three plus three. 3 plus 3. So he went 4, 4 rows with 3 each, plus 4 rows with 3 each. So 4 times 3 plus... Four times three. Four times three is twelve. Plus four times three, which is twelve. And twelve plus twelve is twenty-four. Okay, so four times six is twenty-four. Twenty-four. So the unknown is twenty-four. And how many fr uh, frogs? The frogs ate how many flies altogether? Twenty-four. Twenty-four then. Here it says, complete the sentence below to find 8 times 6. You could decompose. So 6 into, what two, I need to decompose 8. What two numbers that are the same give me 8 four. when I add them together? 4. four. So it's going to be 6 into 4 plus 4. Or I can decompose 6. What two numbers that, I, that are the same that I add together gives me 6? And sometimes you need to check the answer so that way you, you do it right or not. And there it is. I decomposed 
6 into 3 uh, plus 3, and decompose 8 into 4 plus 4. It says double, double a known fact to find each product, all right? So obviously I need to double. So what they did was I need to find 5 times 6. What they did, what number did they, they, did they decompose? Six into three plus three, right? So now I have five times three equals 15 plus five times three equals 15. So I have 15 plus 15, which is, what is it? 30. So I know that five times six is 30. I need to do this here now. So I have nine times six. Which one of those numbers can I decompose? Six, because what number that's the same that I have together gives me six. Mm -hmm. Three. Can I decompose a nine? No. I could. Five plus four, three plus uh, six, or four plus five, but those two numbers aren't the same, huh? So I'm going to go nine times three, because I'm decomposing six. Nine times three again, because I'm decomposing six. So I have... What's 9 times 3? 27. 27. 9 times 3 is 27. And I'm going to add both of these together. So 27 plus 27 is 54. 54.